I gotta find and fix some air leaks today. So I, I thought I'd show you just how to quickly find some air leaks if you're having uh, leaking some air down overnight or you notice you're, you're losing some air somewhere. Uh, <clears throat> and then I wanna show you, I got the parts right here, I already know what's leaking, but I wanna show you what, what part I got here and uh, we're talk a little bit how ridiculously priced some of this stuff is. So all you're gonna need is uh, get yourself a squirt bottle, put some dish soap in it, some kind of sudsy soap, put some water in it, and uh, I always turn the key on because uh, turning that on can supply some air to different parts of the truck that don't have it if you have the key off. So I already found this air leak. Let me show you. So right up here, there's my coolant tank reservoir. We're right underneath it here. Uh, what you want to do is just squirt soap in there. See how that's bubbling like that? That's air leaking. Okay, the sudsy water uh, catches the air. So that's what you're looking for. Just take your, take your soapy water and just spray it all over. You're not gonna hurt anything. Spray all your, all your connections. See, you got connections here. All over, you got connections under the truck. And just watch for bubbles, is what we're doing. Everything under here looks good, except for right here. And on the back side of this one, I can't get the camera in there. But these push connect fittings, the trucks come with these nylon ones, plastic and, over time, yeah, typically they'll leak where the hose connects here, but when they get old and the vibration gets the best of them, they leak behind that collar. It just kind of wears. So whenever I'm replacing fittings like that, I try to use brass. It's just better. So I'm going to uh, just uh, pop these air lines off of here. Now, uh, bleed the air down in your truck before you do this. Otherwise, it's going to be really loud and shoot some air and into your face and stuff so just relieve some of that air pressure make it easier on yourself and then i'm going to pop this airline off this airline off then i'm just going to take, take a wrench and spin these two fittings off So I have these two fittings here. And like I said, they can kind of wear out. Like this one, there's a lot of a lot of slop behind that collar there. I can shouldn't be that much slop. This one's not nearly as bad. But this little one right here, let's talk about this little fitting right here. It's got a female end on it. Okay. And it's a 90 degree. Uh, and it swivels. Okay. So this little piece right here. I went to Freightliner to get one. And they say, we don't even have that. We don't, we don't have such a thing. And I'm like, well, you sell a truck. You make a truck with these on it. So you don't have one or whatever. So I went to Fleet Pride. And they could get me one. They could order me one. Look Now look at this piece, right? In relation to how big it is in my finger. $105 is what they want for this little fitting. Uh, I went online. I found one place that had them. And they wanted $70 plus shipping. Uh, Granger doesn't have them. I couldn't find these things anywhere. So what I did is I did find myself the same thing in brass with a male end. And then I found a, a female to female adapter. Uh, we'll just do that. And I've determined the only reason this thing must be so expensive is... Uh, you know, it's female. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I just couldn't resist it. The joke was right there. I had to go for it. Uh, no offense to the ladies out there. Uh, anyway, that's a ridiculous price. So $105 for that. Or I got this one for about eight, uh, eight nine bucks. And then just, uh, I had this already, but you're probably talking three, four bucks. The P I had a plug that threaded into here. Uh, so we're going to do that and it'll work. It's the same thing. It's just, uh, going to have an extension. And then this, uh, 45 degree one here is going to replace this 45 degree plastic one. And it was about, uh, maybe $10. So all in all, well worth it for the brass. And, uh, you know, when you come across a part like that, that they want a ridiculous price for something so small.
shop around and get online. You know, they get mad because we buy parts online. Well, there ain't no reason that a, a part like, like this here should be $105. That's absolutely insane. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these back on and we'll hook up and we'll check for leaks again. See, I got these fittings changed here, and I got the key on, which supplies some air over to here. So let's spray her down again, see if we got it. Looks like we got her. Now, sometimes if you can't get these old, when you put the line back in, that'll leak. Uh, go ahead and just cut a new end on that hose, and try to cut it really straight. Using side cutters doesn't work great. I got this. PVC cutter I use, otherwise use a jackknife, but try to cut it real clean and straight. That'll help it keep it from leaking. Just while we're on the topic here, if you're driving an older truck like I am, uh, try to carry extra fittings. Uh, carry some bunch of push connects. Spend a, you can get a nice kit for about 200 bucks from like Imperial Supply or something. It'll have a variety of the most common sizes. They gotta be DOT grade. So there'll be this nylon or they'll be brass. Try to get the brass if you can afford it. Uh, it's much better. It lasts longer. It's more durable. And, uh, you know, $200 is a lot of money to spend on something like this, but air leaks are common. And using one of those fittings, replacing it yourself, rather than going into a shop, will save you that just that one time more than the cost of the whole kit. And then you still got several pieces left for next time. Uh, it's not uncommon for these things to happen. Or if you go somewhere, ask them what the common sizes are for your truck. Uh, you know, the, the modern trucks are all similar size. If you drive like a 1980 cab over, I don't know if they use different size airlines back then. I don't know. So just ask and grab some extra fittings, carry them, and you won't be sorry you did. If you like this kind of thing, hit that like button, subscribe, and we will see you next video.